Hi, I'm going to teach you how to balance redox reactions. Now remember in redox reactions, we're balancing two things. We're balancing the electrons that transfer and we're balancing the atoms. Uh, so this is just a little extra work compared to balancing any other chemical reaction. Let's go ahead and look at our list. We're going to work out this first problem as we make our way down the list of steps, how to balance redox reactions. First thing you always do is write the oxidation numbers. Um, if you haven't um, already learned how to do oxidation numbers, go to the redox playlist and I want you to watch oxidation number rules and determine oxidation number practice. So hydrogen is a plus one, plus one times three. Um, that would be me, give me a three. It has to equal the net charge of zero, which means nitrogen must be a minus three. A little quick review there. Uh, these next ones I'll do just a little bit faster and you'll get really quick at doing these in your head. Um, so oxygen is a minus two, except for in peroxides, which means copper must be a plus two. Plus two minus two equals zero. Copper all by itself, elemental form is zero. Nitrogen by itself, elemental form, which is diatomic is zero. Oxygen minus two, hydrogen is a plus one. Notice I've got two hydrogens. Plus one times two is plus two, minus two equals zero. So you have our oxidation numbers. Now, we want to identify what gains and what loses electrons. So for this, you just stand back and look, comparing reactants to products. Um, and you're looking for a change in oxidation number. Notice the nitrogen is going from a minus three to a zero, and the copper is going from a plus two to a zero. So we found our two species. Now, every once in a while, you'll be given a question that will say, is this a redox reaction? You will get to this point. If you can't find one atom that gains electrons and one atom that loses electrons, it's not redox. You have to have a species gain and a species lose electrons in order for it to be redox. Um, okay, so let's look. Now we're going to label everything. Four words that you're going to label is going to be reduction, oxidation, oxidizing agent, reducing agent. If you need help with that, look at the overview for redox under the redox playlist. Okay, this I think is the challenging part. I'm going from a minus three to a zero. And this is how I picture it. Minus three, that means that we have three extra electrons. So if this is zero, okay, perfect. I don't have extra electrons. I haven't lost any electrons. If this is zero, well, I have three extra electrons. So I'm up by three. One, two, three. I got three extra electrons. Now to go to zero, I'm up by three. I come down to zero. What happens? We lost three electrons. So let's write that down. Lose three electrons. Let me do it one more time. I'm up by three, three extra, and I come to perfect zero. I lost three electrons. Now we'll look at the copper. So copper plus two. That means that we have two less electrons. We've lost two electrons. That plus two means that there are two more proton charges than there are electrons. So I'm down by two. Okay, if this is my zero, I'm one, two. I'm down by two, and we're going to go to zero. What happened as we went from reactants to products? Down by two to zero, we gained. Gain two electrons. Okay, so we know what lost, what's gained. Now let's use our terms. Leo the lion says grr. Leo, lose electrons, oxidation. Leo, oxidation. And whatever is oxidized is the reducing agent. This loses electrons, so it has to force something to gain. That's why it's called the reducing agent. All right, gain electrons, that's GER. Gain electrons reduction. So this is our reduction. And whatever is reduced is the oxidizing agent. This gains electrons, so it has to force something to lose electrons. That's why it's called the oxidizing agent. And notice my abbreviation, RA reducing agent, OA oxidizing agent. Okay, we got it labeled. Now, step four. Balance the atoms that are gaining, losing electrons. This is important. Um, you'll only see this maybe like 10% of the time that you actually have to do this. Most of the time, it'll just be one atom, one atom, great. If it's not though, you can't get the right answer unless you balance those electrons, or excuse me, balance those atoms first. So the two atoms that I have to balance before we do anything else are the nitrogen and copper. Well, I've got one nitrogen here, two nitrogen there. If I um, start with one, I can only end with one. Well, oh, I'm ending with two. So that means at minimum, I'd have to start with two nitrogen. So take just a second and balance that. Two, I put a two right there. Now by putting the two coefficient, 
that changes my electrons. Remember, we always write oxidation numbers for one atom. One nitrogen's a minus three, going to the zero. So um, if I have two nitrogens, it's going to be three electrons times two atoms equals a total of six electrons lost. A total of six electrons lost. You can see why this is so important. Then let's get the copper. One copper, one copper, good to go. Okay. Our next step is we are going to balance the electrons. You have to balance the electrons before you balance the um, overall reaction for atoms, okay? Before you balance all the atoms, you have to balance those electrons. How do you do it? You multiply the coefficients. And when I say balance, that's code for the total number of electrons gained, reduced, has to equal the total number of electrons lost, oxidized. So let's look. I've got six electrons lost only two electrons oxidized. You always um, take the lowest common multiple, the smallest number that both will go into. So I can see if this is six and that's two, six is going to be the smallest number that they both go into. Six goes into six once, two goes into six three times. So using coefficients, we are going to put a three in front of that copper. Now again, walk this with me. Uh, one copper is going to gain two electrons. Again, one copper gains two electrons, but now I have three coppers. So multiply that by three atoms, three coppers, and that means six electrons will be gained. Oh, we're balanced. Six electrons, six electrons. Yay. Um, okay, last part. This is kind of the uh, easy, what you've done a lot of already. Balance the atoms. Balance the atoms. So let's go ahead and count atoms. I've got two nitrogen, two nitrogen. We've got six hydrogen, let's put a three right here, six hydrogen, nice. Three copper, three copper, three oxygen, three oxygen. So both the electrons, six and six, and the atoms are balanced. Our redox reaction is balanced. I'd like to do one more with you. Um, this is what you would see um, when you're looking at half reactions, um, especially in electrochemistry. Um, so let's, let's do one more example for you. Um, I think you'll see a lot of these in your class that you'll need to balance. Okay, we're just going to follow the same steps. Start with oxidation numbers. Aluminum by itself, elemental form is a zero. Iodine by itself, elemental form is a zero, diatomic element. Um, Monoatomic ions, whatever the charge is, is the oxidation number, so plus three. And then the iodide is a minus one, so that oxidation number is a minus one. Uh, we're going to identify what gains, loses electrons. Oxygen is going from a zero to a plus three. Iodine is going from a zero to a minus one. So let's start labeling. Aluminum, perfect zero, goes to a plus three. And remember, plus three means it's one, two, three, lost three, down by three. So I'm going from zero to I lost three. What happened? It lost three electrons. Sorry, repeat it. <laughs> um, so this is going to lose three electrons. Then I do my saying, Leo, lose electrons oxidation, and whatever is oxidized is the reducing agent. Nice. Okay, let's look at the iodine. So I'm at perfect zero, and now I'm going to a minus one, which means I have an, uh, one more electron. So from perfect zero to I'm up by one, I have one more electron, that minus one. Zero to up by one, we gain. We gain one electron. Okay, now here's the special one. I also chose this so you could see the special step. Um, you look at the atoms that are oxidized, reduced, and we have, to, um, we have to balance those atoms. Oh, I'm so sorry, I realized I didn't finish labeling. Gain electrons, grr, gain electrons reduction, and whatever is reduced is the oxidizing agent. Okay, now let's balance the atoms that are being oxidized and reduced. Well, I only have two elements and they're both a part of it. So aluminum, oxidized, one aluminum, one aluminum, good. Um, iodine, two iodine, and here, one iodide. So if I start with two at minimum, I have to end with two. We've gotta put a two right here. Now, let's check out the electrons. <clears throat> one iodine is going to gain one electron, but I've got two. So let's multiply that by two atoms, means that two electrons are gained. Okay, so now we're going to balance the electrons using coefficients. I've got three electrons lost, two electrons gained. What's the smallest number they both go into? Six. 
So I'm going to multiply aluminum by two. So three times two is going to be six electrons lost, oxidized. And then my iodine, we're going to put a three here. Um, three times two is going to give me six electrons gained, reduced. Um, so our electrons, woohoo, they are balanced. Now, last one, we just have to balance the atoms. So I got two aluminum, two aluminum, six iodine. Let's come here. We need to change that and put a six iodine. And now we are finished. Um, now, a question sometimes that students will ask me, they'll say, um, Mrs. Love, what if I balance my electrons? And then when I go to balance the atoms, I have to change those numbers. It's okay with one contingency you can only increase the coefficient, you can't decrease the number. This is showing us minimum two aluminum and three, six actually of the iodine are part of this redox. So I, if I had to for some reason put that to a three or four, I could, I just couldn't make it a one. So you can change these numbers after you bounce electrons, it's just you have to go higher. Um, now, here is the mistake that students make. They will look at this and, and go, just look at the purple and we'll go, oh, that's so easy to balance. It's just Al plus I2 yields Al3 plus plus 2I minus. Well, by writing that, what did they miss? They didn't balance electrons. You have to balance electrons. This is wrong. Are the atoms balanced? Yes, but it's wrong because the electrons aren't balanced. So be really careful in redox, you have to balance the electrons and the atoms. Um, common mistake that students will make. Okay, there you have it. Now, if you're a little more advanced, your uh, teacher might be saying balance this in acid or balance it in base. Watch my uh, playlist, Redox, and I'll show you how to add those two couple of things, how to balance in an acid or balance in a base. Good work, so proud of you. Have a good day, thanks.